Here at Strategic Wealth Designers, from time to time we like to focus on different charities and organizations around town. This week, Becca White talks with one of them. Here's one of our favorite segments, Strategic Wealth Cares. All right, today we are off Gardner Lane and we are at Big Brothers Big Sisters of Kentucky and we're here talking with Sandy Bowen. Sandy, you are uh, with the Community Engagement Department program and for those that have heard the name Big Brothers Big Sisters, you know, they know a little bit about it, but let's first start there. What do you all do exactly? We primarily um, match children facing some level of adversity in their life with um, an adult mentor. And the idea is that um, this person provides them um, somebody to talk to, somebody that they can count on, and somebody who is going to be there for them um, for at least a year. At least a year, all right, so there's a little bit of time commitment. And uh, take us through the process. If someone is watching right now and they're like, okay, well, that sounds good, what would be the next process for them? Um, the next process would be to contact us, um, and they can contact us by phone, um, uh, go to our website, and the first thing that would happen is they would be contacted by one of our staff to get a little bit of information about them. They would next um, attend an orientation. It's about um, an hour and 20 minutes, and during that time they learn um, the basics of what they can expect from um, being a big brother or a big sister, um, what some of the rules and regulations are, and so forth. Um, the next step then is that they would have an interview um, with one of the staff to find out a little bit more in depth um, what kinds of things they like, um, what interests they have, what kind of a child they maybe want to be matched with. For example, if um, we have an adult who is, you know, really outdoorsy and, you know, loves doing all those kinds of hiking and so forth, we would never match them with a child who um, is more sedate and wants to do video games mm -hmm. and crafts and that sort of thing. All right, well that makes sense. And also, I think it's important to uh, go back to what you just said. There's a process. This is a, this is a commitment. This is a serious ordeal. It is a commitment. Um, we, as I mentioned, um, we would hope that um, a volunteer would stay with the child for a year. Now, obviously, circumstances come up when people move or health issues or whatever. Um, but we have had some mentors, some big brothers, big sisters, who have stayed with these kids for, you know, 10 years. And even beyond the time, children um, come into the program anywhere from 7 to about 16. After that, you know, we, we want to make sure they have enough time um, with the program. And um, I've run into people in the community who mentored a child many years ago, um, and they still stay in touch uh, at, you know, holiday time on their birthdays and so forth. That's great, and I think one thing um, those watching may not think about is some of these kids are a little bit younger, of course, you know, the age range that you said, and um, our goal is to target everyone, but uh, strategic wealth designers, we target uh, retirees and pre-retirees. We help them with the retirement planning and that kind of thing, but you all have a new program um, about that age range, right? We do. Our newest program is our Legacy Program, which is being supported by the Humana Foundation. And this program, um, and we are engaging um, mentors 55 years and older. And um, what, what we have found and what Humana is interested in is in the fact that these relationships tend to last longer and um, the children benefit so much from this kind of a relationship that they have invested the, uh, the funds to support this initiative. So we are um, actively um, looking for um, people anywhere from 55 on up. We have a volunteer who is 76. She was recently um, interviewed on a television segment with her little sister, and her little um, sister was asked the question, um, what does it feel like to have kind of a grandmother um, 
like a, a big sister. And she said, well, actually, she's kind of like my best friend. Oh. So that, you know, that kind of gives you an idea. In our volunteers, we have, you know, a number of volunteers who are in their 60s, 70s, and um, they feel like they get more out of the experience than the kids do. And they also have experience as well to give back to them. If someone is watching right now and uh, they'd like to volunteer or they'd like to become a big brother or big sister, how do they get in contact with you all? Um, they can call us by phone. Um, the number is 502-587-0494. Um, they can go to our website, which is www.bbbsky.org. Great. Well, Sandy, thanks for all the great information. We could sit here for hours and talk about all your different programs and many different stories. Matt, for now, we're going to send it back to you.